Good morning, everybody. So today I'm heading to the store. We have several upgrades that we've made to the RV in the last few days for cheap, so stay tuned. So as I go to the uh, store, I'm going to tell you what we've done, and then when I get back, I'll, I'll show you them, or insert them in between these. So the first thing I did is in the pantry, our pantry is very deep, and it holds a lot of stuff, which is nice, but there, there, there's four shelves, and two of which I sometimes have a hard time finding things, and I have to pull the tubs out, you know, to go through them. One of them is my uh, salt and peppers and seasonings and stuff. And then the other one is the next shelf down, which on one side I have like bottles and jars, and on the other side I have boxed food. And, and I'm digging through. So a little light would be nice. So I found these puck lights at Walmart, and I'll put a link in here. I'll try to find them online, but they were like five or six dollars. And they have a disc that you permanently adhere to the top of the cupboard or inside the cupboard and then the actual unit is a has a magnet on it so you can easily pull it down and take change the batteries three three triple A's and so that's nice I liked that um, so I put them in and now and they're sensors they're on sensors too so it's not like you have to turn them on or off you just when you put your open the door put your arm in it goes on and then it shuts itself off a few minutes after you shut the cupboard so that I love so here's those let's go to the pantry now like I said there are four shelves one two three four this shelf and this shelf are the ones I have trouble seeing so what we have now when you open the door and put your hand in the light comes on and this is what I have to dig through. I have so many of these sort of different seasonings, salt, pepper, uh, creole. These are just seasonings. My spices are in these drawers and I have two of these so I can easily pull these out. Um, but this was kind of hard to see. So um, the light is great for this shelf right here. Back here we've got cans and I pretty much know what's back there and then uh, tea bags toothpicks a drink mix up here I already know what's up there that's dog stuff this is breads and fajitas this is Tupperware behind there is dry dog food and up top is the wet dog food and the dog food bowls and cereal and my protein powder so then down below, this was the shelf that I was having trouble with because you see I have baskets back here. So in this one's my produce, potatoes and onions. This one is pasta with noodles, linguine. And in this one I just have my um, tea kettle to heat water. In here are bottles, jars, things that I need for recipes. And on this side is mostly the dry food. Um, anything that will come in a box that's dry, like Jiffy and all that sort of stuff, pancake mix. Back behind this one is a whole bunch of drink mixes and a whole bunch of tea. Uh, I don't use that too much, so that's why it's fine to get back there and then down here is, I don't need to see this because these are just bags you know gallon bags foil uh, trash bags and all in here is rice and sugar so that one's simple 
as you can see the light up here has already gone off and this one will go off shortly I would say it's about 10 15 seconds maybe I'm gonna grab the other one while we're waiting there it goes so as I said they're just on a magnet so you can pull it down and then uh, just all you do is twist this change out your batteries and then pop it back up there so it's super easy the next thing we were having issues with is the water pressure and we didn't have fantastic water pressure in Pennsylvania but this is even worse it didn't some days it's better than others but it was just like got in the shower the other day and I had just colored my hair and I turned the water on and it's like drip 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 and this is with an oxygenic shower head too so I've already done that part I don't think I, I probably would have got drip drip if I didn't have that anyway I got through that shower and I said gotta be away so I did some research online and apparently you're not supposed to use your fresh water tank and your water pump if you're connected to uh, city water. And I can use city water to like wash dishes and do everything else. We don't drink the water anyway. Everything goes through the Berkey and gets filtered. So it's really just when we want to take a shower. So we fixed up this you know, I could go outside and take the hose off of the fresh water inlet, put it on the uh, water tank, fill it up, put it back on fresh water. I mean, it was just a bit of a pain. Our pressure here is terrible. And also, the water stinks. We got one of those blue um, water filters. And it only lasted a week and the water started stinking again so we got this one which is like an h2o and i'll put a link down below this has kept the water smelling fantastic but still no pressure so what we've done is we have now connected our water to our fresh water tank that we can turn on when we want to take a shower and when we're not taking a shower we turn it off or if we don't need to fill it, we turn it off. And we use the city connection. When we're ready to take a shower, we turn off the city connection because you're not supposed to use that while you're using your fresh water tank. So that goes off. And then we just turn on the pump and we use the fresh water. When, and Big Daddy said, this doesn't work because it's too much stress on these lines. So now he's going to put two 90 degree uh, adapters on there. Fresh water? Yeah, it won't have no pressure until it fills all the way up. But if you see, it's less stressed than this sticking out here. Right. And it don't pull down as hard. So our water is coming through the filter to stop the nasty egg smell that we have in this camper. And... You know, it's not in the camper, it's the nasty egg smell of the water coming out of the well at this campground. Right, but it stinks. It does I mean. stink. And the only time we turn off the city water is when we're fixing to take a shower. Because the shower is what we went full pressure on. And uh, honestly, when we, we use the city water, it's like a dribble, dribble, dribble. It's disgusting. So and the third thing I did is I used to have 
what's called a temp stick. And I could keep an eye on the temperature in the RV from my telephone when I wasn't there so I knew the dogs were okay. It would also send me alerts if the temperature went above whatever I had it set at, I can't remember, or below a certain temperature. And that way, if the power went out and I'm out and about, I would get an alert saying, hey, you know, it's getting hot in here. Well, it worked, and I've done a video on it. It's in my playlist of gizmos and gadgets. Um, it worked for approximately two years, and then all of a sudden it wouldn't connect to the internet anymore. And so I got on the phone with the company. We went through some steps um, to like reset the it, the what we're connecting to. And it worked for about six weeks and then it started doing it again and I just got irritated and I put it up um, because it was winter and it's not like they were going to get hot. And I've put it up so safe that I don't know where it is. So <laughs> my sister got a camera and she can keep an eye on her dogs and also see the temperature in the RV when she's at work. So I said, I'm just going to get a camera. How expensive can they be? So I went to Walmart and they, I found one. $19.99. I mean, I think I spent $120 on that temp stick. And now I can look at the dogs through my app on the phone. I can see the fan moving because I have it oscillating. So I know the electrics working. And I, but I can't see the temperature on my little... Uh, monitor because it's too small and I can't zoom in so one of the things I'm going to pick up at the store today is one of those big outdoor um, thermometers that you stick on a tree or something and then when I go I leave I'm just going to put it on the fireplace because it kind of the camera's up high and it looks down into the living room dining room area so I'm sure I'll be able to see that on the fireplace they're like 10 bucks and then when I get home I just stick it down beside the chair. Next we're going to talk about the camera and like I said I'll put a link down below if I can find it on the Walmart website and this was 1996 or 1999 less than $20. So I opened it up it came with the camera it has a cord that you plug in and then the other end of the cord attaches to the base. It does swivel. I have it installed right here and that way it can see the dog beds, see the pugs getting up on the couch. I can see the fan oscillating so I know the, the um, electrics working and I tried it because I don't leave all these lights on and I want to be able to see the temperature. Now I did go to the store today mentioned it in the video earlier. I don't remember if it's going to come up before or after this. And I didn't know how big I would need for this to be able to read. Um, let me show you. This is what we use to um, check humidity. It's 40% outside, 45 inside. Outside is 80 degrees, inside it's 73. But this is so small, when I was sitting in here, when I zoomed in, I, it just got blurry and I couldn't see it. So I went, oh, I struck big daddy's glasses. Went to the store, I wasn't sure how big I need. I wanted a 12 inch, but they had this one, which is 13 inches and huge. But I could put it here, you know, if I needed it that big. And then I got the 8 inch. And surprisingly enough, this one's a lot easier to see. So like I said, this one's easy to read. And what I'm going to do when I go out is just turn this around, which is actually our pictures that, that roll. It's like 150 pictures on here. And uh, they just roll around all day long. That way I have all my pictures. And I do change them sometimes. And then I'm just going to set the box right there. I'm not even taking out the box. And then when I don't need it, I just keep it down here next to my chair. 
So I'm going to show you now on my phone how I sing. So we go to the app called Genie, which is the one you have to install on your phone. You click. First of all, it's, off, it's offline because I don't leave it plugged up all the time. I feel like people can invade your privacy, you know what I mean? Like I can't get over that. So I turn it off when I come home and I just uh, turn it on when I go out. Just gonna take it a minute. There it goes. It turns from a red light to a flashing blue now it's a solid blue, which means it's connected. Okay, so click on that, which is your camera. And there's my living room. Let me turn it down. It's, you can hear also. Um, but sometimes if I'm too close, it makes terrible noise. So you can do an alarm, which is uh, where um, it detects motion. So if you're doing it for security reasons, like if somebody was going to break in your house, you would want to turn that on. Um, I don't really need an alarm. It will keep going off when the dog's moved, I think. Um, you can speak to them by pressing and holding this, and it comes out over the speaker on the camera, and they can hear you. It freaks them out, so I don't do it. You can do recording if you have an SD card, but I don't. I guess that would be for security reasons. You can do a screenshot. So let's say I wanted to use it for security one day. I turn the alarm on, The somebody breaks in, and it beeps and carries on at me, and then I take a screenshot and I get that picture. That's about the best you're going to get with this camera. Anyway, you can turn it sideways to get a much better view, as you can see. And then if I want to see the temperature down there on my thermometer, see I can see both the dog's beds and the couch and the oscillating fan, so I know the power's on. Now I do have all the lights on right now, but I can easily make that larger and see the thermometer. Oh, I made it too big now. And the temperature inside, 72. 71, 72 by the looks of it. But I can clearly see the 60, 80, and 100, which is the important ones to see. Now let's turn off the lights. And I would also shut these because at 4 o'clock in the afternoon the sun hits this back wall and it gets quite hot in here. So if we're going to be gone all day, I would have all those shut. Now, I can still see this thermometer. I can still see the temperature. So now I know day or night, and, and most likely in this event, I would turn this light on for the dogs. Um, and again, I can still see the temperature and see what they're up to. So that's the camera for 1996. Link will be down below. If I think of anything else, I'll be back with you. Well, as I said in the car, if I had anything else, I would get back with you, but I don't. Those are the three things we've done this week that have helped us out. Um, very inexpensive and love all three of them. So we will be back soon. We have a backup camera that was sent to us to review, and we'll be doing that um, most likely this weekend, and we'll get that video up next week. And of course, I have still been working with my oven. I have made all sorts of stuff this week. So I'm going to put a video together for Menu Monday. So thank you for joining us again. 
if you haven't subscribed we'd love to have you and for those subscribers that are coming back thank you have a fantastic weekend see y'all soon love y'all bye bye